Simi was dancing all the time. Simi would dress up with tissues in her hair like bows. Her whole life, she was a dancer. In the beginning, I didn't know what to call myself. I think the operative word was the handicapped. It was a term I never wanted to have applied to me. So I started saying, I'm a disabled woman, putting it front, disability front. It's, you know, it's up there, it's out there. You know, you're the first person I ever dated mm -hmm. with a disability, mm -hmm. only person. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's move it out. Anyone who is interested in the field of disability knows the work of Simi Linton. Her work is foundational. Everyone, at least publicly, would agree that there should be a good fit between disabled people and society. Where we might disagree or where there may be controversy is how to achieve that fit and what that fit looks like. If I hear the, the term people with special needs one more time, I'm gonna punch somebody. The more they say that phrase, the more it seems like the burden is on us to keep up. What am I supposed to do, live in a closet? I mean... Dance is the public expression of pleasure and freedom. Dancing shouldn't be restricted to people on feet. People who can see, people who are young and thin and popular, or people who can perform all the moves. Our bodies in motion insist that the terms dance and dancer be redefined. Put your fist in the air and real loud say, disability rights now. Disability rights now. Good.